The novel coronavirus pandemic has dramatically changed healthcare service delivery, particularly in neurosurgery where resource allocation has been shifted in order to meet the wider public health need. This review will summarise early changes to neurosurgical practice in order to cater for this need. And there are three overriding themes, logistics, human resources and clinical delivery. In terms of logistics, the isolation of COVID-19 patients has required a restructuring of hospitals. This is particularly notable in the Italian literature, which saw a national cooperation of centres to designate specific hospitals for neurosurgical interventions. Moreover, a reduction in neurosurgical caseload, as well as a repurposing of neurocritical care units has been a common trend in the literature. In terms of human resources, pandemic rotors have optimised staffing levels whilst maintaining clinician reserves to replace personnel who may fall ill. Additionally, redeployment of the neurosurgical team has been necessary to cope with COVID admissions. It's important to note that this has disproportionately affected junior colleagues as senior members are required for neurosurgical emergencies in order to reduce intraoperative surgical time, hence viral exposure. This ties into the ultimate disruption of training programmes where online solutions have been found with the continuation of grand rounds and educational conferences. Clinical practice has also changed in direct response to the pandemic, with particular caution being taken with endonasal surgery, a rapid reliance of telemedicine for outpatient care, and the use of radio surgery for oncological patients, just to name a few. This review has given you the initial responses of the neurosurgical community to COVID-19. Hopefully it conveys future modeling and structuring that is needed for neurosurgical care in future public health crises.